Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. We're working with advanced surfaces. In the previous video, we created a surface from the topo points traverse, and we have that dialog box open now. Let's go ahead and close this dialog by saying, OK, we want to accept the surface that we've uh, generated so far. And let's come in and take a look at just a, a couple of things with this surface. I want you to notice, first of all, that along this top border of the surface from 100 to 101 through 104, 105, we've got some or some contours where we didn't actually collect points. So the last points we collected are down here. So Traverse PC has basically sort of extended the contours out to what would be a straight line if we uh, snapped a rubber band all the way around these topo points. And then we see down here, we've got the same thing on the uh, west side that it, obviously we've got some jagged contours in here and uh, we'd like to see if we couldn't take care of those by working with the border a little bit. So even without being familiar with this site, we can look at the surface and we can say, you know, there's some ways that we could improve this. So let's drop back into the surface and find out how to do this. I'm going to double click any one of these contour lines. That'll bring our surface back up. And let's go ahead and tell Traverse PC that we want to create a border traverse. And we're just going to tell it, create a new border. I'll leave the, all the defaults in here, border topo points. Let it show up just the way it is there. And now let's OK this. And we can see that right below our topo points traverse is a new traverse called border with topo points. And if we look at our traverse or back at our drawing, we can see that we've got a border snapped all the way around this. So let's go ahead and edit this now to do a better job of uh, delineating the, the surface area. I'm going to double click anything drawn by this traverse. I'm going to tell it, no, I don't want to um, annotate any lines. Okay, And I want to draw it in kind of a bright color here so I can see what's going on. And let's go back into our surface for now and tell it that we don't want to draw the minor contours. They'll just speed things up a little bit and be a little less confusing for us. So let's go ahead and zoom in on the northeast corner up here. And let's go ahead and edit this border. And I'm going to tell Traverse PC that I want to go into Surface Tools. And I want to edit the border for this surface. Now the prompt down here at the bottom is telling me left click points to insert or delete. And I can see that I want to go from 100 to 101 to 102. And I'm just using the tooltips to make sure I've got the right point here. So I want 102. Looks like I want to go to 104 next, then to 105. Let's go ahead and scroll over here so we can see just what we're doing. Probably want to pick up 106. And then I think I'm good from there. So I'm going to right click to tell Traverse PC I'm all done. Now, let's come back into that surface. And I'm going to choose Surface Tools Recompute. So Traverse PC now has the opportunity to come back and say, now that I know what the better border configuration is, I'm going to recompute. And see how we got rid of all those jagged lines over there? Let's do the same thing now on the other side. Now, sometimes we have these point labels that are kind of right over the top of each other. And I like to use this zoom points right here that says, zoom them back so they're just just the normal size without being zoomed in. And I can just toggle that on or off. But that's a real handy way for me to actually get a better handle on which points are which. So let's repeat that process for this little, it's like a cove here on a lake. Let's tell Traverse PC we want to edit the border for this surface. Let's insert 232, or 222, 221, 220. And I'm just picking the point label, but I could pick an end of a line to these points or whatever I want. Now I've got some points kind of jumbled up here. I'm going to go to 217 and then back to 216. So that looks good now. Again, we're going to right click to tell it we're done. Then let's go back to our surface and let's recompute. And we can see now that we've got a much better looking surface here without all those jagged contour lines. I still have some work probably to do right down along the uh, south line here, 
But let's go ahead and turn the minor contours back on and see that even they look better now. So let's go ahead and clean up this last little bit down here before we're done. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this. I guess I can just scroll in, move ourselves up a little bit. Now, again, see how we've got all those minor contours drawn over the top of each other? Let's go ahead and just double click, turn those off. It just helps us clean this up a little bit. Now, I'm going to start down here at the corner at, one, at 233. Let's right click a surface line. Tell Traverse PC we want to edit the border. I'm going to see if I can zoom those points back off. See how that just cleans it up for us? And we're going to go from uh, 233 here up to 165. Then we're going to go over to the next point, which I think is 166. A couple of ways we could scroll around in here. Let's go to 170. And then back to 171 looks good. So let's right click to end the command. Then let's come back and click on one of these. Um, surface tools and choose recompute. Now let's zoom back out and we can see that we've really cleaned this border up quite nicely and we really have eliminated any of those sort of edge or boundary conditions that often plague us with a surface.